This is a review for the end case M1, the fifth revision. The case is made of aluminium and this is the silver color. The build quality is amazing, everything fits to the millimeter. The back of the case and the bottom of the case are painted black, but the rest is silver. You have exhaust on all the sides as you can see. At the front, you have a front panel at the bottom where you have one mini jack for mic and speakers and two USB 3 ports. You also have an exhaust at the top of the case. This is our suitcase test where we have put the computer in a suitcase, a hand luggage that you can fit an airplane easily. As you can see, it takes half of the suitcase and it fits perfectly. So this is great if you plan to travel. This is a weight test where we measure the weight of the computer with all the components inside and it gives us 15 pounds, which is about 6.8 kilos. I am now dismounting the entire case, it's really easy to open, there's no screw or anything, it just sticks and it works really well. So you can dismount literally everything, front panels, the side panels, everything is dismountable. I'm just gonna rotate the case now to show you how it looks like inside all around. This is a filled computer with all the components. Let's start with the back panel. I have three PCI Express slots at the back, one fan which can be 90 or 82 millimeters, and one plug for my power supply. At the front panel, I have two SSDs uh, and a bit of space for cable management. At the top, I have my power supply, my CPU, the motherboard, as you can see. On the other side, I have the exhaust fan for my power supply, as well as access to the back plate of my CPU and the motherboard. As you can see, I have an SSD here. At the other side of the case, I have my graphic card right there, which is cooled by 220 millimeters fans, and I have additional fans and hard drive. At the bottom, you, you can see again those 220 millimeters fans which are cooling the graphic card. Let's start to remove the filter to access the parts under the fan and the hard drive bay. So I need to unscrew this part and then I have access to the CPU curler as well as the power supply. The power supply is on the right. Now this part you can put two hard drives of uh, 3.5 inches and 120 millimeters fan or you can put 220 millimeter fan or like a radiator as well, but in my case I just use a hard drive and a fan. So this system is pretty standard. Um, this is an ITX motherboard below this cooler obviously. Uh, you got an i5-6500 and uh, the cooler is a Noctual LP12 which is great because it's not too high and it fits perfectly the case. Um, this is a GTX 970, it's a G1 Gaming, uh, which takes uh, all the space in the case, it's like 30 centimeters or something, so you cannot take anything bigger than that. Um, and for the power supply unit, this is a Silverstone uh, SFX format, uh, it's the SX600G, uh, it gives 600 watts, so that's enough for all the system. Uh, also it's a bit louder than the ATX power supply I had. Um, for the storage, for example, I used uh, a Samsung 950 Pro because it doesn't take any space, you can just put it at the back of the motherboard. And I got two more SSDs right there. They are together because of these pieces of metals. Uh, this is a Samsung uh, 840 and I got behind it a Kingston uh, 420 gigs. And finally, as I showed you before, I have a one terabyte of hard drive. And that's pretty much enough for anything I can do. So one of the biggest questions with this case is um, the fitting of the power supply unit and the graphic card uh, plus the hard drive cage I showed you before. Um, the thing is, if you have an SFX power supply, you can fit a really long GPU and uh, the hard drive cage, which is great. Also, um, SFX format power supplies tend to be noisier and uh, so for example before this one I had an ATX format power supply um, an OCZ 850 watts uh, gold and it was great it was really silent uh, never had any problem with it but the thing is um, 
if I tried to put it in there, it would not fit my graphic cards and I couldn't put the hard drive bay. So this is pretty bad. However, I will just show you uh, next um, that with a short graphic card, you can actually fit uh, an ATX format power supply. So here's my GTX 970, uh, the G1 Gaming from Gigabyte. Uh, this one is a GTX 180 from Zotac, the mini version. So hopefully this should fit in my case and allow me to put an ATX power supply. So just as an indicator, uh, this graphic card measures about like 30 centimeters or um, one foot basically. All right. Um, well, this one uh, measures about 21 centimeters or about 8.5 inches so now I'm going to show you um, how it fits in the case so this was my ATX power supply it's a 850 watts gold OCZ it's pretty good it's uh, quiet as well and um, now the length of it is 17.5 centimeters or about 7 inches uh, as you can see, you got like 140 millimeters fan. Uh, it's pretty big. It's uh, I think even bigger than a normal ATX power supply, so that could be problematic. Although it's modular, so that's good. Um, with the NK's M1, they give you this thing, uh, which is not the thing set by default, but it's an adapter for ATX power supply that you can fit like so, and you should uh, screw it to the case. But before that, I want to show you uh, how the ATX power supply would uh, fit before I actually fit it for the reason. So this is my ATX power supply. Uh, the way the NK's M1 is designed, uh, the, an ATX power supply should be installed this way, as in the fan should, fit, should uh, point towards this way, and uh, you should fit it like that. Uh, as you can see, it almost, well, yeah, it barely fits like with the graphic card, which is actually a small graphic card, and but it could fit, it would fit, it would fit, as you can see, I can glide it a bit. But the issue here is like, if I put it like so, I would have like even less, even like a centimeter or two for like cable management. So this is really a bad solution. I'm not going to do it for my case, but as you can see, you can actually do it. Um, I would not recommend it again, because then you need to restrict the graphic card, and then you need to get rid of the hard drive bay. So this is quite restrictive, but at least you can see that even a big ATX power supply can fit in this amazing case. Also, one thing to consider when installing an SFX power supply is that, uh, for example, my motherboard, the SATA ports were over there. So as you can see, I can only fit one SATA cable here, which is a really short angle SATA cable. So be careful with that. So let's turn on the computer, everything is built, I just don't have the panels for now. I plug the plug. So as you can see, uh, all the fans are spinning, there's a graphic card, hard drive, everything works. Uh, it's very compact as you can see, we got that light, built-in LED, blue. I'm going to turn the case uh, with the panels on. So it's on here, here you go. It looks quite slick, you got the LED again, as you can see, the balloon is quite soft as well, this is pretty nice. Uh, from uh, NK's, um, yeah, that's it. This is uh, LED from the motherboard, so it's not the case.